Hello everybody, the Astro Gravitational Report uh, for July 25th. Uh, yeah, feeling the energies, you probably will. And uh, they're gonna get a little bit more intense uh, talking about in the morning because if you are, uh, if you're waking up like at six o'clock in the morning, uh, the ascendant, the rising energy is gonna match the sun. And if you look at it, uh, this, the moon is going to be at the end of Libra and it's going to begin to be a beginning of uh, Scorpio. This is going to be the first quarter moon, basically the first quarter of issues that it's going to be deal with. Talking about the issues, don't uh, look at it. This is a Leo issues. No, the new moon begins at Cancer. Okay. We don't have a new moon on Leo. We have a new moon that started at Cancer. It's about family situations within us. Things that we personally do in the family that actually affect everything. Are we hiding things within the family? We're looking at within the things in the family. Those situations are going to be worked out. Now it's a first quarter moon. What are you going to do? Uh, but if you look at it in the morning, the moon is in divine energies from from uh, the last night with um, Neptune. Talking about these positive visions of what it needs to be done. What it needs to be purged. What is going to be going into it. You can't have secrets in the family. It won't be a family if it's a secret. Okay? The secret stays in the family. Yes, that's what I can agree with. But within internally, within the family, cannot have secrets. But are you have a secrets within you? Things that you hide. So this kind of like energy is gonna be rising up in the morning. That energies can really impact you later on. We are talking about like one o'clock, and later on at seven o'clock is gonna be pointing out. Uh, but when we get there, we get there. So stay here, and I'm gonna let you know. But um, Later on in the morning, at 7 o'clock in the morning, be mindful how you communicate or what are you telling yourself. Um, Ascendant is going to be very close with uh, Mercury. Mercury today actually is going to begin to learn divine learnings. So be patient at 7 o'clock. That energy is not active. Uh, the divine energy is uh, there. Uh, from Neptune, later on, Mercury is going to get the divine energies with Pluto and Neptune. Then it's going to drop out the divine energies of Neptune. It's going to be working with the energies of Pluto. So stay tuned on that. But talking about uh, of this 7 o'clock in the morning, be mindful about what you're telling yourself. Especially things like uh, what do you have within the correlations within yourself about the changes you need to do in your life. Are you under pressure? Because if you're under pressure, what the pressure is, what is the things that are unspoken, talking? You may experiencing an energy of blockage about talking about communications from within you. Uh, Eight o'clock uh, energy, that is going to be a mid-heaven together with Uranus. You're going to be working on this uh, certain changes that needs to be. But they have to be a result of something, a result of transformations. Okay? Spoken words becomes actions is everything, but spoken words without backup uh, with actions, they are what? They're just the empty words. So uh, looking at inside of it uh, with yourself, you maybe have to look at those issues. It's going to be intense energy. I'm not going to be especially be careful at work, communications with uh, partners and so on and so on, because that divine energies are going to tell you, hey, do something different, do something completely. That energy is rising, but the mid heaven, it is really putting this energy towards Mercury, Ascendant, and Venus. They are together at this time. Uh, talking about uh, 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock, uh, but 9 o'clock, be mindful about friendships. You may be like, you know what, I don't need your friendships, or friends is going to be like, you know what, I don't want to talk to you. We're not friends anymore. Done. We're done. We're completely done. Uh, that is a, um, this energy is going to be in the moment because sometimes you have to be very careful how you feel in the moment. 
if you cannot handle the pressures and the energies within you, you're trying to put it and show it up towards others. And this is why Mercury has to be very compassionate within you. I mean, really very compassionate. Um, so talking about 11 o'clock energies, when the Midheaven walks in within Cancer, that is going to be that work within um, the family. This is going to be a beautiful, this transitions towards uh, the Moon, because the Moon is about very close. She's in the last degree um, of uh, Libra. Uh, it's going to make a beautiful trine, that is a like a family and uh, um, partnership, relationship, situationships are coming together. Uh, but they are all ruled by Saturn. Uh, basically, Saturn is in the bottom. That is towards the Midheaven, the inner work that you do, right in, the, in this case. Right here, okay, right in here on that uh, particular corner, that is a Venus retrograde and Mercury, and on this side you have the Moon. A very beautiful time if you caught uh, the right energies, you're going to be like, okay, I need to stop. I need this in order to fly, not to resist things that I'm refusing to see. That's what that goes. Um, 12 o'clock uh, there, uh, mid-heaven, it's going to be at 17 degrees at um, Cancer. There's beautiful energies with Jupiter and Uranus. Sudden changes that are made within the family. That is a like, duh, I should have not done this and this, I should have done this. Duh, what I, I've been acting on it is not the right thing. I need to do this. It's going to be a very beautiful moment for those who catch uh, uh, that energy. Uh, but here is coming the one o'clock that I told you I'm going to be telling you more about it. Midheaven and the Sun are with uh, together with the second degree of Leo. Uh, the Moon, it's already uh, that square with the Moon, uh, begins to be more active because the Ascendant is together with the Moon. This is going to intensify that first quarter Moon energies. This is like, you know what, the, our relationship between the intuitions and authority doesn't work well. Why? Because there is something in the shadow that needs to be digged in. And that is going to be when the moon transitioning into Scorpio is going to be there. But that is in like in the last degree of Libra. What is in the last degree of Libra though? The South Node. The things that are you already develop and you already know. But what are the things that you don't know? Where you have to go in there? You have to go to the unknown which is, is also Scorpio. You have to go to these uh, positions within yourself that those energy are going to be working. Is the divine going to help? Yes, 100%. Why? The ascendant, the moon, uh, it is a divine energies with Neptune. Neptune is divine energies with Venus. Okay? There is a lot of help. But uh, the sun and... Uh, Pluto are really in a position. You are opposing these new energies that are coming in into the old energies. You don't like to be returning to the old energies. You don't like the old energies. I'm going to be talking more about in the Age of Aquarius video later on to do the other channel. But talking about this, is that moments right now, are you really following the new energies when Pluto was in Aquarius? Because right now, these energies of Aquarius, Leo, they are really tough. And if you are within the new energies, oh boy, you're feeling it. Oh boy, you're feeling it. So, uh, talking about later on at 2 o'clock, uh, Midheaven is going to be getting uh, within Leo. That's squaring Uranus. This is going to be the self-talk uh, situations. And specifically at 3 o'clock, that's going to be really intense. Find uh, that energy towards Uranus. But mid-heaven, it's going to be around 3 o'clock. It's going to be crossing within Virgo, talking about healing, talking about these energies and situations inside of you that you see these processes of let's heal. I'm not worried about it. Let's heal and let's grow. The growth is coming from Jupiter. It's still trining Mars. The masculine energies, they are like growth, growth. I'm not worried about anything else. I'm just worried focus on growth. I learned so much. 
I don't need to learn and go back what I was. I'm acting on the new energies. So uh, at, uh, four and five o'clock, uh, those energies they're gonna be very interesting. Specifically, five o'clock. At five o'clock, the mid heaven goes at the fourth degree of Libra. There is a divine energies with uh, with Saturn uh, in there. The Moon is supporting Venus and uh, Saturn. So that way Venus doesn't have the conflict with the learnings. What is a Venus does? She's a retrograde. She sends you back. Nobody likes to go back and revisit things, evaluating things. Okay? Relearning things. But looking at inside of yourself, within your life, maybe it's time for you to relearn things about the values of love and money. So, uh, talking about this uh, 7 o'clock, uh, energy is going to be highly intense. Why? Midheaven is with the moon. Usually, that is a high pressure. Some of you may be going to have uh, headache, uh, maybe going to have some uh, really, really kind of like uh, these vibrations of uh, purge, dark night of the salt. However, it's your case. In there why um first of all is the square with the sun but the second of all that is the oppositions directly with jupiter lack of growth desire not to grow within and then there is a square with pluto you don't like transformations in there you don't like that you are shifted into the underworld and you have to deal with your own mass inside of you within your own shadow and this is going to be very strong uh, power during the Scorpio season. If you can work some of the things out now, in the Scorpio season, it's going to be much easier to you. Period. Because we're still going to be have to deal later on with all this Taurus, um, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio situations. Especially... Uh, talking about November. Um, later on at 8 o'clock, mid-heaven, it's going at 22 degrees of Scorpio. That is going to be uh, squaring 25 degree Mercury and uh, Venus at 28 degrees and opposing Jupiter and Uranus. Some of you is like, oh, I can't deal with my shadow. It's all your own fault. I'm not going to do what I need to do, but I want to be living like this. Well, there is no such a something for nothing. That lesson that you need to do, that situations that you need to do, you have to go through it. You find your power, you find your dignity towards yourself to do it. But with the intense energies with the moon, you're probably going to feel like a little bit, oh my God, I don't want to do it. Well, there is a divine powers to help you in there. Also, Midheaven is a beautiful trine with Neptune who gives you the visions. That with love you relearning things it's gonna be much better from within yourself so uh, later on at um, uh, 8 and 9 o'clock uh, those energies are uh, gonna be a little bit different uh, especially talking about the 10 o'clock mid heaven it's gonna be at 20 degrees of, uh, of Sag that's gonna be divine energies with Uranus you want to talk to the divine, you want to talk to communicate with the universe, now is your time. It's the same time though, the universe is going to be communicated within you, within your internal self. Are you capable to get the message? The message could be a song, talk, art, pictures, meme on the Facebook. However, some sort of art is going to be coming to you and you're gonna be seeing it what you need to see what do you see the mid heaven at 20 degrees is beautiful trines with venus and mercury what you have not said what you have not spoken what you have not done from within you because if you don't speak the things out out of your system they stays within your system this is like a you know what i will hide my true self I just gonna put this picture of myself to this person so they're gonna like me. But I'm gonna be protecting this shadow within me. Well, that shadow is gonna come out. And when the shadow comes out, things are ugly. Now, some of the people learn it's like, hey, 
I'm like this, like this, but I also have things that they need to work out and recognize. I'm letting you know I'm working on it. How about M apples? Be your truth to yourself. And if you do that, uh, later on at 11 o'clock, meet Kevin, it's at 4 degrees of uh, Capricorn. You learn to be a pro to yourself. It's about time. Yeah, some of the people. But that is going to be a beautiful, beautiful trines. They are still with Lilith, uh, Venus, and uh, Mercury there. And also, that is a very beautiful uh, sextile with the Moon. Very beautiful sextile with Saturn. Things are learned, things are going, you learn your lessons because you see what happened in the past. So that's what it was the Astro Gravitational Report, guys. Hopefully this report helps you in your life and I appreciate it for watching it. And I will see you in it tomorrow. Come in and talk to you more about what's cooking in the sky. Be love, guys.